I haven't really said anything about what's going on between Israel and Hamas. And I wanted to bring that in and acknowledge that that's what's happening right now and do some work around how we might be processing that. It's a very difficult situation to work with. When we talk about this, there's a lot of assumptions I'm finding that people are making about someone on the so-called other side. One of the ways that I was thinking that we could approach it is to work directly with how we're feeling inside about the levels of violence that we're seeing. Many people have people in Israel or in the Gaza Strip who perhaps have friends or family who've died and certainly who are worried about friends and family. To come out of the politics of the situation and to come into just the humanity, there's a lot of pain and suffering here right now. It's also a time when we can really see how our nervous systems are being activated and the historical experience that we have with that. If you are Jewish, if you have friends who are Jewish, if you are Palestinian or from somewhere else in the Middle East and you have friends or family who are Palestinian, we have a different relationship with what's going on. It feels so much more personal. And we can get really inflamed in that situation. I don't at all mean that all of those things aren't true. There's a lot of political situation that we may or may not be supportive of. We have a lot of contact close in in person or maybe a little bit further out. And we can really see the complexity of this situation and how much pain and suffering there is and what an intractable situation it appears to be. And we care. How can we work with this in a way that doesn't inflame our own nervous system more, that helps us to calm and settle, and that doesn't inflame the situation more? I keep coming back to Swami Veda, my meditation teacher, and his quote, the greatest gift you can give the world is a peaceful mind. He would talk about how we don't want to add our own fear into the situation. We don't want to put that into the energy field. And as much as we can, we want to regulate our own nervous system so that we can be present and not get into our head and start to objectify or make the other people wrong. We can see it so clearly in our personal life as well as when we're working with these global situations. So with all of that context, let's notice what we're bringing in. And what we're bringing in is different from what we brought in last week at this time. When things escalate in a rapid fashion like that, we tend to get really drawn in. And also, we tend to have a compulsion to figure it out. We're seeing a lot of that as well. One of the levels of the mind that we try to kind of reassure ourselves with is, well, if we could just figure it out, maybe it could be changed somehow, or we could let it go. Keep coming back into our body, into our breath, into regulating our nervous system, and into watching out for those tendencies that we have to harden our hearts. It's helpful often to broaden out our perspective and to focus on how could I be here with my own heart and not harden against other people. Notice right now what's happening in your heart, what's happening in your body, your nervous system. Notice if you want to be here right now, if you want to be doing this, you don't have to sit still, that's for sure. You could get up and stand up, you could shake, you could move around. It might be, I'm, I'm not okay with this right now. I'm going to do something else. One of the things that's really important is to be checking in with ourselves. And we don't want to be avoiding ourselves and avoiding what's going on. And we also don't want to be too pushy. Let's do a few things that would be regulating. Let's start with the cyclic sighing. This is a deep double inhale. And it helps to kind of get the body moving a little bit, get a bit more oxygen in. And then a long, slow exhale, like we're breathing out through a thin straw. And that also really helps to lessen the amount of tension in the body. You could do this sitting or standing. You can do this however you want. You could be moving around. Deep double inhale. So inhale fully through the nose. And then some more. And then that long, slow exhale. And as you're breathing out, let your 
Face soften, your neck and shoulders, your back, your whole body from head to toes. Deep double inhale. And that additional inhale lets all the little sacs in the lungs get their share of oxygen as well. But do this for a couple of minutes, so in your own rhythm and pace. When we do that double inhale, we have a lot of movement in the upper part of the chest as well. So as you're breathing out, let that soften and release. Another couple of these deep breaths. And then sense into what's going on in your body now. Would it be good to move a little bit? You could stand up and do some shaking, move around. Shaking as you're sitting or stretching or notice what your body might need right now. We really store a lot of this tension and fear and anger and all kinds of stuff in our body. It's good to shake it up a little bit and let it release. Another one I really like too is to have your fists above your head and throw the energy into the ground as you breathe out. And make some noise. Let out the frustration. Throw it into the ground. And you could continue to do that. Let your body cue what the best thing is for you to do right now. And notice how you feel right now. Notice if there's anything that's shifted or moved. Often that fear energy really blocks us from being in our heart. If it's something that feels okay for you right now, let's go into the heart. And you could have your hands on your heart. You could be giving yourself a hug or holding your own hands. See if you could just access the emotion. What is the emotion that's here right now? And there's a tendency when we do that, that our mind, our thoughts get really busy. See if you can come into the actual sensation. What is it that you feel in your body right now, in your heart area? Notice your mind. See if you could keep your mind focused a little bit on sensation. So one of the ways that we can do that is to notice, is it a heavy sensation? Is it moving or still? What are the qualities of what you're feeling? Or you might not be feeling anything. It might be kind of numb. What do you feel in your heart right now? Notice as well what you might feel in the back of your heart center the muscles in the mid and uh, upper back. What comes to mind is a practice that Pema Chodron is well known. It's a Buddhist practice of Tong Glen. And it's a practice of breathing in suffering and breathing out relief. Often we have a reflexive aversion to that. We just feel like, well, I'm already full up with suffering. I can't handle any more suffering. I'm not going to bring more of that into our body. But what we do is we start with ourselves and we just bring in an acknowledgement that right now I'm suffering. Right now I'm feeling pain and anguish and 
whatever it is that we're feeling. And then we breathe out something that would be a sense of relief. So that would be different for everybody. Sometimes people will breathe out a softening of the shoulders. Sometimes we'll breathe in a, a sense of, I feel really grief stricken. And we'll breathe out a sense of community. There are other people who feel the same. I'm not alone in this. Let's do this for a few minutes. If your mind wanders, just bring it back and do it in a way that works for you. There's no gold star here. We just work with something that works. So as you're breathing in, you could have your hands on your heart if you want or to have your body however you want. And as you're breathing in, acknowledge the suffering that's here. And as you breathe out, some sense of relief. It might be imagining it's lightening. It might be imagining that there's an easing of this suffering. It might be a walking on the beach. It might be some long, deep breaths. So inhale, acknowledge the suffering. And exhale, something that would help to ease your suffering. And keep very focused on that, bringing it in. and letting it go, letting something release a little bit. And whatever would be comforting for you, maybe it's the sense of community that we're doing this right now in community. And also we have a lot of other community, friends and family and people on social media or whoever you're connecting with. So we're not alone in this. We could breathe in, I feel this way, and we could breathe out, and others feel this way too. I'm not alone. And then bring to mind somebody else who you know. Uh, a friend or someone you love who also feels this grief or anger and complexity of the emotion that's happening right now. And breathe that in from them, breathe that into your heart and breathe out some sense of relief for them. So it might be that you feel love towards them or that you feel a connection or that shared humanity. So breathing in, thinking about that person, breathing that in, they also feel a lot right now. And then breathing out some sense of softening. Whatever they're feeling and whatever we're bringing in is not getting stuck in our body. On the exhalation, we're breathing out some sense of relief. Deep inhales. Letting in the fact that they're suffering and then breathing out some sense of care or light connection. And you could do this for a long time with different people. People that you know who are really feeling activated and scared and grieving angry, all of those emotions. You could do this for a while. And then we could also do it for larger groups of people. We could do this for everyone who feels personally affected and threatened by what's going on in Israel and the Gaza Strip right now. Noticing that, breathe it in. And if that feels too overwhelming, Maybe we could put a space around it, or maybe we could go back to one or two people. Things are so heightened right now. There's so much pain. Could we breathe out a sense of, you're not alone in this. We're together. A sense that we care. that people all around the world are bringing our hearts to this. 
wanting for there to be a resolution for the, the pain and violence to stop. Really try to stay away from the thinking. Really stay in your heart as much as you can. Breathing in this communal experience. And breathing out some sense of ease or acceptance or light. Let our caring be what we're breathing out into the world. And notice your own body, your own body from head to toes. What does it feel like in your body as you're breathing this in and breathing it out? And if you're ready to let go of the practice, you could let that move to the background and come back into your own stillness, the awareness that we have whatever's going on in the thoughts. We have all the emotion that's going on. We have the activation in our nervous system. We have all of that going on. And we also have our caring, our love, our caring for people, our heartfelt wish for ease. See if you could touch into the stillness in your being for a moment. Remembering that this is here too. And as we move through the day, it's really important to try to stay regulated and be kind and nourish our nervous systems and stabilize as much as we can. We don't want to pretend it's not happening. And at the same time, we need to be aware of how frightening it is, especially for watching video images or pictures. So if you could stay informed more by written words, it's a lot easier on our nervous system because our brain knows, our nervous system knows this is something that's happening. This is something we care about. And it's not personal in a sense it's going to happen to my body today. We want to be able to stay regulated. And that's one of the ways that we could do that. And also as you're speaking with other people and one of the things that sometimes happens when we feel this is we stay isolated with it. We might block it out. So let yourself go back and forth and come into your heart and then give yourself a break and think about something else or make a cup of warm soup or whatever is helpful. And reach out to other people who you want to connect with, who you have a sense it would be good to connect with. And be as kind as you can to yourself and to everyone in your heart.